Tibet is often described as mysterious. But from inside this remote region, one thing is clear. It's changing quickly. Take the town of Bai. It's growing rapidly. This school was built five years ago. Around half of the children are Tibetan. Around half are Han Chinese, China's majority ethnic group. The families of these children have moved here from across China. Many places from our country. In Sichuan, Hunan, Hebei, and so on. Many, many places. Some Tibetans say such large-scale immigration threatens their unique way of life. They also fear that rapid development is damaging Tibet's special environment. China rejects such criticism. It says it's brought prosperity to a previously impoverished region. It also claims to be protecting Tibetan culture. Mima runs a government-supported Tibetan-style guest house. He and his wife are in traditional Tibetan dress. He tells me it's very important to protect Tibetan culture because the world has paid lots of attention to the Tibetan people. There's certainly an ever-growing influx of Chinese visitors. Almost 13 million came last year, a figure which dwarfs Tibet's official population of just over 3 million. But activists say most ordinary Tibetans aren't benefiting from the boom. They fear Tibet is being Disneyfied. We are taken to see another government supported Tibetan style guest house. This one complete with baby yak. It's only when the clouds part to reveal one of Tibet's tallest mountains that we're back in the realm of the unexpected, unscheduled, and untouched. This trip has given us a fascinating glimpse of a beautiful region, but in terms of seeing the true Tibet, well, that may have already disappeared from view. Philip Bromwell, RTE News, Tibet.